Hey guys, this is Isaac with the Immoral War family. Doing a recap of the Backroads random matchup against One Life Genesis of the One Life 1.0 family. Uh, as you can see, this was a very close war. 84-85. Uh, TBR uh, took the loss by one. They got uh, one more Town Hall 10 triple. So, really nice job, uh, Genesis. It's the only one Town Hall 10 triple. Uh, got them the win, and that's really all you need. Six packs. Alright. Uh, Battle Axe. Uh, Yo Mama. Titus. Saha. A rusty Bucket. And that's it. So first stop, I uh, got a Massa Chief against the Plow. I think I think the Plow is a member of like the actual One Hive, uh, but he was in this war. Massa Chief takes him out with uh, Arch Queen Walk Gavaho. I've really been seeing any of the usual Laloon attacks now, it's mostly um, Govaho. So it breaks in that compartment, clears it out. He's gonna grab the CC pool anytime now, there it is. Golem, obviously, uh, Bane of Valks, but with a lure, easily negated. Valks on the left hand side to get one of the Infernos, uh, the Queen will grab the second. Or not. Uh, the Valks ridiculously fast under Rage. Freeze the second Inferno and a jump will get him in to take that out. Heals them up so they're fresh before engaging it. Yeah, he's only got a few compartments left. Back end hogs to take out the rest of the base. Uh, those Valks meant amazing value for them. Hogs don't need any heals, they're not encountering any, any bombs. Valk's brute force rest of the base. Uh, nice job, Master Chief. Even Swag's that poison there. Next, you got Titus. Uh, using Govaho. Uh, Owner's Queen is actually very centralized. Not sure why. Only got the one golem for Valks, which is usually preferable. Uh, Send those hogs on the left side so we could actually create his funnel. And a uh, pretty good trade. A giant bomb, spring trap, and two defenses just for a few hogs. Jump gets him access to the Archer Queen, BK, and uh, some more bombs. So we can bring three heals. Can as many Tesla farm, but nothing to be afraid of. Only a single there, so no bacon. I think this guy ran on like four four singles in his base, which are not exactly the smartest thing to do in today's meta. Nonetheless, great job Titus exploiting the base. Uh, you take out all you need to, and the rest can be hogged. Next is Drix, uh, using double jump Govaho. 
So he's obviously intending to get more with his kill squad, two golems and a cross map attack. Good place on that golem there, a bit off uh, to the left so that the wall breakers can target the corner as they usually do and not get targeted by the splash. Gun Valks and King. Valk Gob CC, pretty strong, but he's got Valks of his own. Second jump's gonna grab him that Archer Queen, so all of his spells burnt uh, on his kill squad. But that keeps him up alive and healthy. Sends in those hogs well, those uh, defense are distracted on the Valks. And now he just surgicals the rest of the base. Doesn't any more um, heals for him. Last uh, small bomb. I think this guy again had four singles, so not sure why uh, their nines decided to be so fond of all singles. But clear weakness against Govaho. Nice job, Drix. An another Govaho, Jesus. Um, this is you on Nano John. Uh, using a uh, pretty old trick, actually. Heal on the Golem. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. He's only going to bring one golem this attack, uh, but he wants to keep that alive because all that defense would roast the golem uh, before his troops are ready to head in. So that one heal, a good investment. So double jump, cross map attack. Uh, Diagonal double jump, bomb triggered. And Tesla Farm. So he's got uh, all the value he needs from that double jump push. Now he can start his hogging. Got CC hogs as well. And that one heal actually coming in very clutch there. Saving his Archer Queen. A nice raid, you taking that one double giant bomb set uh, with his Valks and uh, taking out the other one with Sacrificial Hogs. Lone Giant still beating away over there. Uh, next, Rusty Bucket. Another double jump, go Vaho. Probably the most popular attack, honestly, I've seen as of late. Those cross map attacks to get the Arch Queen um, much more powerful now with the new Valks. As you enter from Hero Compartment, a bit of a messy opener. I couldn't get that funnel done correctly, but. Uh, he didn't make too many mistakes. Pekka and the CC, no match for the Valks. Can only target one thing at a time. So the Queen disables the double giant bomb spot there. Valks tear through the Tesla farm. And another double giant bomb spot.
So he burnt all of his spells on his kill squad. But he doesn't need any more. Hogs clear out the rest of the base. Very nice stack by a rusty bucket, uh, a bit messy, but still got the job done in the end. Showing just a powerful Valksar, even uh, you can make mistakes and actually get away with them. So we got actual air attack now by Squirrely Joe, uh, CB Laloon. Very, very strong attack. This guy's a bit of a Queen Island on this base. Uh, but CB Laloon, one air defense, and the Queen. He's got that uh, accessory hog to help deal with those um, defenses. Uh, but. Not, not that much value, I think. He got taken out pretty quickly. But uh, the Queen Island doesn't have enough DPS to stop a CB. Even with like mid heroes. So CC gets pulled. The Queen's still up, so even though they're going to blitz the King, it doesn't matter. The rest of the base... Um, easy to rotate around so it makes this flight much easier very patient on these hounds and loons rage of the expo so a bit slow on a uh, deployment but he rages his way through the base I think he's still got a hound remaining in there somewhere, so maybe should have deployed faster. Uh, could have lost all of those loons. But nonetheless, even uh, kind of messy attack. CB Laloon still extremely powerful. Never put air defenses next to the queen like that, guys. That's all. Um, good job to one eye of Genesis for getting that win. Uh, those guys, again, very strong war clan. Uh, TV I might want to rematch in the future. Arranged. Uh, but good try to our guys. Uh, Town Hall 10, 3 stars becoming uh, much more common nowadays. And uh, we need to catch up. If you'd like to join us at the Moral War Family, uh, head over to www.immoralwarfamily.com. And on the site, uh, you can apply. Just follow the instructions there. It's all from me. Have a good one.